return of a recently released Duo Boot Superstar. Adam Cole and Kyle O'Reilly set one more time at the Great American Bash, a debut of a new up-and-comer to challenge Kushida, and a pretty good women's tag team match. All that more as we review last night's episode of NXT. Welcome to a brand new episode of Kimmy Talks Wrestling, and we are starting... I think, of course, we have to talk about the huge news, which is that Samoa Joe is back. Yes, he is. After rumors and speculations of General Manager William Regal stepping down, Samoa Joe comes back as kind of an enforcer role. NXT starts off with William Regal in the ring, talking about how for the past seven years, he's been here since day one of NXT, just watching it grow, watching it travel all around the world, and it becoming the huge phenomenon it is. But based off all the brawls and him not being able to take control, he feels that he should step down. Thanks to fans, starts crying, gets really emotional when Karrion Cross and Scarlet interrupt him and say, oh, we've been waiting for this day since we got here for you to finally leave and step down when all of a sudden you hear that music, you see it on the Titan Tron say Samoa Joe, he's back baby. He comes out to the ring, says that William Regal wanted to talk to him, and Regal offers him the general manager position. To which Joe shockingly says no. Joe talks about how he's brought in several talents over the years that have become huge stars of WWE, Samoa Joe included. And he doesn't want Regal to leave. Instead, he wants to be type of an enforcer. You know, someone to make sure no one messes with Regal or gets in his face and settle brawls. And William agreed, but with some restraints, you know. Number one, he can't be a competitor. Two, he can't lay his hands on anybody unless he is provoked, which we saw throughout the night when... Adam Cole and Kyle O'Reilly were in a backstage brawl when Adam Cole pushes Joe out of the way and Adam Cole gets into the Kimura by Samoa Joe. Because Adam Cole just provoked him. But this sets up at the Great American Bash. The main event will be Adam Cole versus Kyle O'Reilly again. Now, I'm assuming that Adam is going to win this time. I mean, come on, guys. <laughs> he has to win something. But... I am so excited Joe's back. He's going to have such a great role. I think he fits perfectly here, especially because his contract is that he is only going to stay in NXT. He's not going to move up to the main roster. So, great move, Triple H. Thank you for never letting him go. Good job. But from there, we move on to a debut. Kushida has his Cruiserweight Open Challenges for the past couple weeks where we've seen new up-and-coming superstars come out and challenge Kushida. And this week was no different when Kushida took on new up-and-comer Trey Baxter, who I have never seen before on the Indies. I believe Tiff interviewed him. But oh my god, <laughs> this match was insane. I, I'm totally behind Trey now. He's so good, so talented. Obviously, Kushida took the win here, but Trey really didn't lose. He had such a good showing, especially, you know, his first NXT match on the USA Network. I'm impressed! But it was not over because Kyle Riley and Adam Cole get to pick their opponents for next week. Kyle Riley made his way out to the ring in the middle of the match to scout, and he looked at Kushida after the match was over and said, I've been waiting for this. The best versus the best, one-on-one. -on -one. So next week, it was going to be Kyle Riley versus Kushida. Oh my god. I don't think I'm ready. It's gonna be so good. Also next week, Frankie Monet has her second match, which is also really exciting. But from there, we go on to the women's tag team division. Now, if you've been on my channel or you've seen my last couple episodes, you know that WWE does not know how to use that division at all. But they actually proved me wrong last night. It was Dakota Kai and Raquel Gonzalez taking on Casey Kanzaro and Kaden Carter in oh my god why is Casey K I know Casey Kanzaro has been injured but you need to push this girl to the moon because she's insane this tag team's really good please do this again have them win the titles at some point this was great having teams like this shows that you know 
you can have an in-depth women's tag team division. Unlike on the main roster where you have the same three teams over and over and over again. It's really annoying. But this match was great. Obviously Raquel and Dakota take the win here. This is obviously leading to another match between Shotzi and Ember and the two of them. Because as I said, Dakota wants gold and Raquel wants more gold to add to the NXT Women's Championship. But speaking of women's tag teams, interesting enough, Io Shirai comes out. And she's so excited to be back, she's starting to say who her next challenger is going to be when Candice LeRae interrupts her and says, you know, some things have changed since you've been gone. I'm a champion, you're not, but one thing that hasn't changed is how much I cannot stand you. Indy Hartwell comes from behind and it's a 2 on 1 until Zoe Starks comes out of nowhere. So I'm assuming that match is also going to be taking place next week. But this is good! I love that we're building tag teams! It makes my heart feel so good and warm and yay! Ben, I, this was just a tag team filled episode of NXT because of our Tornado Tag Team main event. It was the Grizzly Young Veterans versus Thatcher and Ciampa. Oh my god. This match was everything you thought it would be and more. It was crazy. It was intense. So many close near falls. But Ciampa and Thatcher take the win. I'm assuming this is going to be MSK's next challengers, meaning that Bronson Reed and Santos Escobar are continuing their feud as Santos challenged him earlier tonight. So this is really good. I'm excited for this. Um, part of me kind of wants Ciampa to get gold on him because I feel like he's just been floating the past year. I want him to actually, you know, do something monumental because I'm a huge fan of Ciampa. But this was a really good match and a nice way to end NXT. But that wasn't the last thing we saw because we saw Regal and Joe shake hands and say a successful night one of many. So this was good. I love this episode of NXT. It was fresh. It was new. It was really everything you want after NXT TakeOver. It's a huge restart, a huge refresh. And I can't wait to see what happens next week. And we're only three weeks away from the great American bash. But also, um, other big news, LA Knight turned on Teddy Piazzi in the million dollar... Champion crowning. Oh, LA Knight. If you remember, LA Knight had no reaction when he won the million dollar championship. Now you're really just like setting this guy up for failure. But whatever. Hopefully Grimes beats LA Knight and he gets his championship and we could all fly to the moon. So make sure to like this video, comment what you guys thought about NXT, the good, the bad, the ugly, and everything else in between. And I'll see you guys Friday for Impact. Now the Dark Side of the Ring's over. Impact review. And my Hell is All review. Re predictions will also be up Friday. There's only five matches so far, and Ronald isn't in any of them, so that's kind of upsetting. But yeah.